Welcome to my channel. I've got to paint Ellen's drawers. She's away. So this is the first coat. She ripped it off and tried to covertly cover it up. I spotted it, so she's in trouble when she gets back from wherever she is, Malaysia. So uh, we've got some lovely paint, some olive. We tried the chalky furniture paint. I quite like this furniture paint, and I might do a lot more painting. Um, it's in the fashion, isn't it? Sort of uh, rear upholstering uh, furniture and upgrading it. So uh, upgrading it. So dusty morning was a bit white for the olive, which I quite like. So I've undercoated it with the trade undercoat, and then now we're putting the coats on. And I just need a we need to order a top coat to wax over it. Handles going back on. So that's kind of. And you drop the uh, GoPro. Today, 18th of May, Thursday, it's about 5 p.m. I'm going to start carving Helen's drawers. You'll see as we progress. Thank you. I think it's an olive. See if she likes it when she gets home from Malaysia. So I've taken the handles off. So in there, I'm just going to carve outset letters, Helen. Helen's drawers with a shape on the outside and then so there'll be outset letters with um, this 90 degree V groove just carving out the background like I did with Emma's sign so watch out you'll see what I mean so what I'm going to do I sort of want the shell that's the drawer so we want it so I decided on this attempt at doing the drawers because I wasn't sure because it's sort of like a laminate construction cheap Argos draw fronts. I'll make me own in future. Now I've learned how to do carpentry. Um, so I thought I'd just do it by hand and then I use a 90 degree V groove to carve out the letters, which you'll see in a minute. So I'm just drawing this by hand and then you'll see me now, then using a mini root, a quarter inch with a 90 degree V groove to uh, draw the letters. Uh, all the Amazon, my Amazon shop will have all the bits that you need to carry out this task in the link in the description below thank you so i'm using a profile bit at first to carve out the detail of the outset letters i think they call it a carving liner as well if you watch eric rotten i'll use the, use the link in the description he's amazing i've learned most of my stuff from him um, so i'm using what he would call a carving liner but i think it's a profile bit to look, do the outset letters so the letters are outset and i'm using a background which i'll then detail with the 90 degree V groove bit. I'll time lapse this and speed this up. So here you can see me carving the 90 degree V groove look set about three to five millimeters. It always depends on the material. So I've started by carving the outside part of the sign. So I've done it all the way around there. And now these are outset letters. So I'm basically carving the, the back behind the letters so you have an inset letters or outset letters so I'm doing outset letters so because I'm doing outset letters I'm using the 90 degree V groove to make little bumps all the way around um, uh, but and then carving up to the letters in the end you'll see me using the carving liner just to get that fine detail around the letters so I've time lapsed here a bit but you can see the 90 degree V groove quarter inch bit just taking out the meat behind the letters and in between the outline of the sign so uh end of the part one so it's coming out all right so this will get painted the same color we used on the other drawer so i'll paint that and paint that and fill all that then when that's dry i'll sand this back very lightly i've got to do a bit more detail and carve a little bit deeper and then that will be painted a slightly different color very carefully um and that look uh, very good i hope it's ready for paint now. So I'm going to go over it with the paint all over it. Try not to get too much in there. Once that's done, that'll get sandy back just the, this, and then she'll get a slightly different paint. I'll carefully brush it on. That's the plan. I think I've um, painted it on first, on the main part, then rolled it off. Oh. Rolled it off. Oh. 
and then drop my paintbrush and then I've painted, I don't want to get too much on the actual words because it's hard to sand off so when that dries another coat I'll sand, then I'll sand this off and I'll paint that a more subtle colour you know, I just want it to be, you know, not too out the top so another coat on the drawers be done Having Helen's drawers <laughs> a bit of undercoat this seems to work I'm trying to hold this camera with one end so I've just gone over with with some undercoat really, it looks quite nice see what the boss thinks, she's back home so um, can't do this, it's clear, it's hard holding the camera, I'm trying to do this so I've time lapsed it now, so I've used the undercoat on the letters I think it's come out quite well, I'm pleased with the result uh, all the uh, items I've used are in my Amazon shop please like, subscribe and hit the notification for more videos and comment, let me know what videos you want. Uh, and here's some photos now, the final finished result. Remember, loads more videos on my channel. Thank you.